Welcome to another exciting episode of Will It Run It? Today's episode is more like Will It Charge It? I've got three Rock Pals 100 watt solar panels here and uh, the directions, I, I bought one of these a long time ago to use for camping to keep my Jackery topped up while I was running a mini fridge and it, it worked, it worked okay. Uh, I had it in pretty much full sun most of the day and I still had a net loss of power. So I thought, you know what? These things can be paralleled. I'll get a second one and I'll plug them in together and then that may be enough to uh, make up the difference. The manual actually says that it comes with a cable and uh, you, can, uh, you can hook two together to double your output, you know, assuming on sun conditions and all that. Well, it's a Y cable and the directions don't say anything about not being able to use three panels and uh, I could plug them in to be able to use three. So what I'm gonna try to do today, it's not full sun today, it's partly cloudy, so I'm not probably going to get max efficiency out of one panel. So I'm gonna test one panel, two panels, and then all three panels and see the wattage difference between and, and see if it actually does make a difference. And then on top of that, I've got one other thing I wanna try. Uh, I've heard before that it can impact your entire array if, let's say you've got three panels hooked up and one is in shade and the other two are in sun, it can really deduct from all three of those. Uh, think of, you know, like batteries. If you've got one strong battery and one weak battery, that weak battery can suck all the energy from that strong battery and you end up with two weak batteries. So I don't know if that's true or not. That's something I'm gonna experiment with today. Uh, let's take these things out and see what happens. So here we go, I got the solar panel set up. It is a mostly cloudy day. The sun is currently behind the clouds. These solar panels aren't even pointed at the sun. So I'm gonna do a quick test here to see how much power I can get out of just one of these solar panels. Uh, my Jackery is completely bone dead, 0%. So I will have plenty of time today to dedicate to experimenting with this thing. So there we go, it is sucking in five watts. I don't even know which panel I have this thing plugged into. Uh, this looks like it's the middle panel. So that middle panel there, almost no sun. And we're still able to pull five watts, which is very, very minimal. In fact, uh, somehow I'm outputting one watt. I don't know how that's working, but it would take 100 hours to recharge this 500 watt hour battery with just five watts. So that's uh that shows you how much sun really is necessary for solar panels to actually be effective let's go ahead and plug in these parallel cables okay so there i got the front two solar panels plugged in now and we're sucking in 12 watts so we did you know we cut our charge time there by half let's go ahead and get the third one plugged in all right, there, we now have all three solar panels going in and we are sucking in 18 watts. So 18 watts in uh, almost no direct sun. Man, I bet if we were in the woods, this would be really bad. I may need to try that sometime, take these things out to the woods and see how much power you can get in the woods. But does it work? Will it charge it? The answer is yes, you can run three of these things together. Um, my guess is the reason they don't talk about running three together is because you don't want to end up too, running too much current. You know, when you parallel these things, you're increasing the watts, or I guess you're increasing the amps, and you're not increasing the volts. The volts are going to stay the same. So these wires are, I think they're probably 14 gauge, I'm guessing. They're not real heavy duty, so running three, maybe running four is okay. This Jackery is not gonna suck in more than probably about 75 watts if this thing was in optimal conditions, even though these solar panels could put out way more than 75 watts. So I don't really know if you'll have a problem with the wiring getting too hot. Uh, now, if I had a EcoFlow or something like that that can suck in a lot more power, it may become more of a problem and it would be better to uh, uh, tie some of these together in series to increase the voltage and keep the uh, amps consistent. But that's just my guess. So what I'm gonna do, and see, we're getting up to 24 watts. What I'm gonna do throughout the day, since this thing is completely dead, it's gonna take a while to charge. I'm gonna let this thing sit. I'm gonna check on it a few times throughout the day with various uh, sun amounts. So there, you had a little bit of sun hit it right there. We jumped up to 28 watts. 
26 25 yeah the the clouds kind of starting to move in and we're we're losing a little bit so i'm gonna keep that plugged in uh later in the afternoon hopefully we can get some patches maybe when the sun is over in that part of the sky we can get some times where the clouds aren't covering the sun and we'll get full sun on these panels and see what we're getting here we go i have almost full sun and jackery says i am charging at 75 73 72 it was 75 watts whenever i walked up to this thing um so you can see i'm getting a little bit of shade there on that first panel and the sun is right there so i'm not even getting full sun they're not pointed directly at the sun and i'm pretty much maxing out what that jackery can pull in that's great news uh let's reduce this down to um well i guess let's see what would i unplug unplug two unplug that so now i'm you're running on one solar panel and i'm at uh 29 watts three of those would be close to 90 but uh the jackery like i said can only do about 75 so that's that's good information let's try this one so now i'm running on just two solar panels yeah i had to restart and i'm at 72 so it looks like I'm getting the most benefit out of just having two. So which two do I have plugged in right now? The, uh, let's see, it's the two on the top. So these two solar panels are the ones that I'm currently running on and I'm getting almost max charge. So what I'm wanting to do now is I'm gonna completely shade one of those and see what I get to. Ideally, I would only be, if, if, if this works how I hope it'll work, I will cut my charging in half. So I would expect to get, you know, 30, maybe a little more than 30 watts. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is just cover up one of these solar panels. I'm just gonna roll it back up, do this. Ugh, there we go. That's how easy it is. I love these rock pals, solar panels. All right, and I am at 32 watts. That's fantastic news. That means I could have three of these plugged in pointed completely different directions and I'm getting only charge current from the one that's actually getting sun and it won't suck power from the other two, kind of like a battery would when you hook a dead battery up to a charged battery and you only get the uh, power from that dead battery because it's sucking all the juice from the charged battery. So I don't know if that's just because I've got them hooked in parallel or if that's just how these are designed to work. I don't know if it'd work the same way if it was in series. It may just be the style panel that this is. But man, that is so cool. I'm so excited. So two of these in a decent amount of sun is enough to completely max out the charging capabilities of a Jackery 500. The only reason you would need more than that is if you have a charger, if your solar generator can suck in more power than just 75 watts, or if you're in a lot of shade and you need every little bit of ounce of anything you can get, those would be two scenarios that you would want to have more than two panels. Well, this has been exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing uh, run all day and see how much percentage I get up to. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.